Hey Virgo, welcome back. Let's look at your messages. Let's see what are the messages that I am here to deliver for you whenever you watch this video, whenever you see this message, for whatever Virgo placement you might have. If you're new, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. Thank you for being here. All right, let's just get into it. If you are interested in connecting with me for a personal reading, themoongoddess.com is where you will book. And that link is in my description box below. All right, guys, this is me connecting to Virgo. What are the messages you want me to share with Virgo? As always, may all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. So it is. Spirit, guys, what's the messages for Virgo? Have the queen of wands the emperor and the king of pentacles as your first messages people people are those aspects of you are people in your life um with the king and the queen you have the page of wands here at the bottom people my love wow and knight of pentacles is here at the top oh oh People, Virgo, who are these people? And the Eight of Swords. Suitors. All right, so you got the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of, of Wands as your supporting cards. All right, let me, let me fill this out, my loves. There's some kind of opportunity being offered. Somebody is going to come in soon if they haven't already and offer you something, Virgo. Something that's going to, some could be passion, it could be love, it could be something that just makes you feel excited. Something is like a spark, it's a torch, right? So it's some kind of, this person could be an investor, a boss. I wonder why you feel trapped though, Virgo. Maybe it's because you have all of these different ideas going on and you don't know which direction to go in. There's a lot of strategy here. I love that the Queen of Wands is the first card though because that shows me that there's this confidence or reminding you that you need to really focus, really tap into your confidence, your confident side. Um, the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. So before making any decisions or choices, it's time to like really look at the lay of the land and come up with strategies that will power you forward. I feel like there's this feeling of being caught between a rock and a hard place, but it doesn't feel like a rock and a hard place. It feels like an opportunity and greatness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, which greatness should I take? Which, which way should I go? Take the initiative, my loves. You're the boss. You are the boss. Wow. The Ten of Swords came out and the moon was underneath the Ten of Swords. You have the sun and the Ten of Swords. That's your word of advice. So while you contemplate and and overthink the negatives life is happening you have the sun here you know if you if you are familiar with tarot if you watch my videos or any other tarot video you know the sun is an amazing card to have all right and then it's that sense of vitality and happiness and then to have the ten of swords is the next card like what like well what where where is where's your focus where, watch where your mind is going. Watch where your thoughts are going. Because to have this amazing card and then the Ten of Swords here. It, what's beautiful though is with the Ten of Swords is that after the darkness comes the dawn. So whatever has you feeling suffocated, trapped, or bound in some way. Like it's time to get up now. It's time to get up and it's time to dance in the sun.
I don't know, for some of you, has a Leo stabbed you in the back? Or a younger male energy, a masculine energy? Watch out for that anyways. What's the final message from Virgo? You got the Five of Pentacles and Temperance is your final message. So things are being balanced, loves. Things are being balanced. I feel like Virgo feels like everything is really slow right now. You got the lovers here at the bottom. I feel like y'all feel like everything is being very, it's very slow, which is why you feel trapped. I feel like it's an energy of, okay, so I've created this product or I've created a service or I've created a channel for <laughs> following my path and following what I'm here to do but yet there's a but it feels like why isn't anything moving like what's happening right I don't know if somebody's offering or you have something to offer someone page of wands Lots of people though, king, two, a king, king of pentacles, queen of wands, knight of pentacles, page of wands, so, and, and the emperor is a lot of people. But you're moving out of that sense of loss or lack or abandonment and things are being balanced and it's a divine happening. It's interesting too, because even with the temperance card, the sun is coming up in the background. So it's like, I'm hearing that song, the sun will come up tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar. You know that song, right? You moving into balance. Let people help you. Maybe that's why there's so many people around you as well. You here feeling trapped and all around you are all of these people. Let people help you. With the lovers here, the nine of cups at the top, and the queen of swords at the heart. More people again. King of pentacles. All right. Let's get some more cards and see what else comes through for you. But it's time to look at the cup where the glass is half full instead of half empty. I feel like that's what your main message is, Virgo. Um... There's a lot of support around you. And if these are aspects of you, well then wow, because this is amazing. It shows how how creative, how powerful, what a, a master manifester you are or, or are capable of being by offering the world your gifts and, you, and whatever you have to offer. Realizing you're not trapped. Come up with a steady plan, right? Come up with a steady plan as you move forward. It's going to lead to some balance here and the sun coming up. The truth coming up. When the truth shows itself, don't hide from it. That's another message. A win-win outcome is forecast and you're very close to achieving your goal. Oh, one more and it's time to take action. Okay then. New moon in Aries. We've got the emperor here. Full moon in Libra. Gibbous moon and new moon in Aries. All right. The emperor and the eight of swords is underneath. It's time to take action. Aries. Stop feeling bound. Stop feeling like, you know, constrained, restrained. It could be you doing it to yourself. Your hard work is paying off. Full, um, new moon in Capricorn. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo so show the world yourself right and let that energy come back to you adjustments are required right so with that knight of pentacles here stay confident make the necessary adjustments and keep moving rest when needed and then get up and go again let's see what else comes through for you messages for Virgo Some messages for Virgo spirit guides ok 
Okay, those are your cards. You have communicate clearly at the bottom. All right, you have remain positive and don't stop. Okay then. Ask your angels. This the situation will improve. Let's get a love card for you. Let's see what else comes through for you. Um don't judge books by covers and don't gauge people's experience or capabilities on age. Don't base it on age or you know experience so to speak because sometimes that could be that could be what pushes you off your path because you're judging based on societal ideas and limitations you want card for Virgo for love Spirit guides, engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So it could be that whatever you're experiencing could be connected to an awakening, a spiritual awakening. Um, for some of you, it could be, if you're thinking about love, that you've met somebody, but you know, rel different religions or different ideas of, of spirituality could be coming in between the two of you. Let's see. One, two. Wow, beautiful. You got the stars at the bottom as well. You have the bear and the ring, my loves. Beautiful. So the bear is connected to finances. Well, one of the, the topics is finance. Anything that's long term, long term. So looking at 10 to 15 years um, spans of time, long term, 20 years types of span um time and space i don't know why i can't think oh yeah mercury's retrograde that could be it all right you're looking at the ring is ongoing so what i'm feeling here is that if you're thinking about love your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment if you're thinking about love y'all could be meeting somebody who this is a, like a long-term connection and this is energy that i've been speaking on for y'all for such a long time so long-term kind of energy and it's ongoing, you know, um, it could be that a cycle and a phase is coming around again. All right. Some of you could literally be re going into some kind of contract. So it could be marriage. If you look at the ring that way, it could be some kind of contract, signing some kind of long-term contract, lease, um, Something connected to your finances that's long term or signing a contract connected to finances in some way. Maybe it's a loan of some sort. All right. I'm seeing the five of pentacles with a temperance card. So maybe all coming out of some kind of financial darkness and whatever is coming in is allowing you to plant some roots. Right. And build something long term. All right, loves. That's what I'm seeing here for y'all. So at this point, I was going to say so far. Yeah, so far at this point, um, 25, ongoing, 10 to 15 years, yeah. I was looking at the timing for the cards, but yeah, I've already told y'all y'all's message. Keep going, don't stop. You're very close to achieving your goals. That's your message, all right? Until we speak, my loves, until I see you again. Be well, bye-bye.